Alright guys, so here I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to unwrap organic characters. It's really hard to find tutorials on this. that The links aren't broken or they're outdated. <clears throat> I have a little bit older version of 3D Coat, but this should work just fine. And the tools are still active in the newest version. What I'm going to do is going to show you how to unwrap quickly and fast and efficiently using 3D Coat. It's kind of disgusting. That's a term I use a lot nowadays. It's pretty easy to use, and um, I was aware that it had some cool features, but I wasn't updated on some of the stuff that they had implemented a while back, so this is kind of cool and refreshing to check this out. So let me go and close this real quick. I'm going to go to File. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to Import. And when I import, let me get this to come up. It's a little bit of a refresh issue. There we go. Import. We're going to do Model for Per Pixel Painting. Pop that up. I'm going to choose Drake. This is one of our earlier models we did as we were experimenting whether to go 3D for our animated series. So I'm going to grab this guy and open it up. And everything here should be good. I'm just auto smooth groups. This doesn't always come in really nicely all the time. Um, you can always unlock your normals. I'm coming from Maya and you can unlock your normals ahead of time if you want to display a little bit prettier inside of 3D Code or another uh, software. I'm going to set the resolution for now to 2048. And I'm going to hit OK. And when he comes in, he's going to be kind of ugly. And uh, again, this is just unlocking the normals. You'll see some hard normals and soft normals mixed together, which makes him look like he's been hit with a hammer. That's not the case, actually. So we're going to go in here, and you're going to go to our UVs. And you'll see it's automatically like fractured the shell. I mean, we didn't even unwrap this guy yet. It automatically tries to define the silhouette. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear I'm going to use mainly the modes here, these tools. won't use too much of these. Um, these are pretty self-explanatory. comes a rotating and so forth, f um, flip and relax. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to clear my seams. That's the first thing I'll do. You'll see it all just evenly apply on this guy. And when you move your cursor over the model, you'll see a preview of what you're getting. That's the old set. This is the new one. And it's disgusting. So. We just started from scratch. Pretty much, I just told it to clear the seams, cleared it, and then we just started from scratch on this guy. So in any model in 3D Coat, you want to start defining your edges and where everything's going to go. As, as cool as this may look, it's physically impossible to paint with that. So it's not going to be really friendly. Take it to an external program. So what we're going to do is going to break this up a little bit. And it will require some tweaking. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll do the initial unwrap here. Any extra erroneous stuff I can do in Maya really quickly, but I'm going to show you how beautiful this program is, especially with characters. Hard surface, it's just as good, but we're going to focus on characters right now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, go in here and we're going to mark seams. I'm going to click on mark seams over underneath modes. So mark seams active, I'm going to do the typical um, split down the back end of a character, treat it like an actual Halloween mask. So I'm going to click on the base there, go all the way to the top, and I'm going to click right here at the apex of his forehead, of his top of his head. Click right there. I could probably go lower, but I'll just go here for now. That's marked. And then I'm going to switch down to edge loops. So edge loops, the nice thing about this, he's going to stop right where I left my marks. If I rotate my camera, you'll see that he's going to stop right at my marks. There, see that right there? Cool. So we'll click on that. And now it's marked it. Now notice it's unwrapped it already. It shows me the preview. If I move my cursor over the model, you'll see the preview of the unwrap. So you basically have to define your seams using the mark seams and the edge loops. And then 3D code will do the rest. I am not freaking kidding. So we're going to go now and define some of the other areas. I have edge loops still selected. We don't need the ocular cavity to be defined because it does cause an unusual distortion. You guys have seen me talk about that before in uh, some of my other videos on Maya. I'm going to click here. You'll notice there's the ocular cavity now all by itself in the world. I don't care if it's clean or not because we're not going to do a video of the inside of the eye or the gouging of the eye. It's just a, it's a children's show. Let's keep it clean. I'm going to click right here and we'll get the other outer rim of that eye and then we're going to go to the mouth and then we're going to go in the very edges of the mouth and we're going to do the same thing and there's the ocular area it shows it all unwrapped a little bit overlapping there but I'm not too worried about that zoom out and there's our guy now you'll notice the UV uh, texel density that I have selected on here and I've chosen complex 
uh, checker. You can do simple checker if you want to. Mine gets distorted on one side. I don't know why, it just does one side. So I just did um, complex one, so it covers everything. And you can see your textile density. Now again, it hasn't updated yet. So what we need to do is we need to unwrap based on our new rules that we applied. We made our seams. He has like a little expression. That's why his eyebrow is up in the air. And um, we're going to go in here and tell it to unwrap. You can also do um, update islands, but I'm going to just have it unwrap. The cool thing about unwrapping, it'll give you exactly, show you exactly what you're getting. And from there, you can do some more tweaking. So isn't that cool? Really cool. So I can click on this guy, and there's a little icon. These are my, my UV preview. And in my UV preview, I can move things around or scale them based on what I select on there. So I can grab the outer circle if I want to. Let me zoom in by right-clicking and dragging in. So I can rotate this guy, move it around. There's my outer one for the rotation. I can scale it by grabbing the cube if I need to. Pretty nice. And you can see how quickly we did this. And limbs just as fast, body just as fast. Really cool. So one of the last steps you can't forget, though, is you want to apply your UV set to the model. So we say apply UV set. And you say OK. Applies it, sends it out the door. With this applied, I can now go in here and uh, export him, export model. We'll export his OBJ. We'll call him head. And remember, this isn't 3D code. Head underscore unwrap. Drake. If you've seen our website, you'll see we have Drake and Weird Junior High. It's one of the things we're trying to push right now. Let me hit save. Sorry, it's my rambling, rambling when I'm tired. Let's see. Da, 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 expert color. Da, 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 that's all nice. Thanks, 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 thanks. Don't need to add a morph. Hit OK. So now when we go to Maya, <coughs> I'll just go 2013. And I'm going to close this guy. Quit. Yes, that is the Hulk. Don't judge me. All right, so we got this coming in. And we're going to see what it looks like in Maya. And we can do some quick changes if we need to to get this done. And I got to say, 3D coat, unwrapping, amaze balls. So whatever you're um, used to, whatever you want to work with, it's up to you. I don't care if you use Maya. I don't care if you use 3D coat. But I just wanted to show this to you guys. One of my students reminded me of these features and I had forgotten how awesome it is and that's just me being kind of dumb alright so let's go to my C drive we can go to program files he's in the 3d code area so let's see if we can find 3d code hi 3d code and let's see where he alright so we'll go here lectures 3d code let me see here head unwrap Drake OBJ and let's see here. Open. There we go, Mr. Drake. Let's look at his UV textures look like. Bam! There he is, completely unwrapped. And we can go in here, check where the overlap's at, and I can fix it a little bit more for the density. And if I need to twist them around, I'm going to right click, select shell, and you can do control for that and just rotate this temporarily. Cool. So, and let me do the quick movement into position. There we go. And it is that easy. And it's pretty cool. And that's about all I got to say right now.